Hello everybody and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club with me, Flog. This is getting kind of strange. I don't know what to pick. I'm actually going to save the game in another save file because of the fact that I have a feeling that these choices, the choices that I'm having to make here are the big choices that are going to change things. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I want to go with Yuri because like I said, I want to follow the Yuri path. So what I might do is I go with that. But at the same time, I would also choose Sayori because of the fact that what happened and how I haven't been spending time with her. So, um, I don't, I don't know. Should I, should I deviate and go with Sayori just because of the fact that it, yeah, you know what? We're going to go with Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? N no Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki... I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no, I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Flog? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. Ah, that's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Flog? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh, Yuri anxiously, anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Flog picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she was already in trouble with her, has trouble with her words, trying to cheer someone up must be far from her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. I'm going to say this. You better bet my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out there then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out of the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Uh, I turn around. Sorry, I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes? All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that it, I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Thog. I think that we'll have make a very productive team, even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. 
You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but, Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. It's as if... As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori f finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. I have a feeling it's not going to be a good time. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've, j we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Maybe you should go to her house. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Flog. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri, then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is just really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Flog. Eh? We, why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't be worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. To think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulder. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Flog. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Flog? I guess I have no choice this time. 
The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late for school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having it spend them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have still tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Flog. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Making, uh, having everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Flog. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could like be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's. This is incredibly sad. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I punished my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. Aww. That's terrible. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, uh, Flog. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Flog. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Flog. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what it needs what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. That's kind of a weird way to deal with it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Flog. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, so I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what you want. It's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my su surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh... It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. 
It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. That, that hurts. <laughs> that really hurts. <coughs> okay, I, I think I'm okay. Uh, I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have just reassured you and hurried more on, excuse me, hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, uh, no... I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm? Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrists. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if she's making sure to keep track of them. So, um... So, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you had planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to make sure our guests are in a faraway place. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And f cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's just something I like. Wait, it's something that I like about you, actually. It, is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bags. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here and I happen to have these in my bag. So I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection, it's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In a mere moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that'll be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I like to do is write a different kanji character on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon and hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the kanji paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? 
It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract someone to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. I is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed than it when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Flog. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once you finish. Once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, oh, all right, all right. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode. So after an incredibly bittersweet uh, interaction with a uh, Sayori, which actually left me just a little more heartbroken than I thought I'd actually be. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, end this episode here. So thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Remember to hit that like button, comment, and of course subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.